Hey everybody, it's Mike from Proof Suite here in Seoul, South Korea, and in this video, we're going to take a look at flash loans and specifically how to use Aave's protocol to leverage flash loans to perform arbitrage. So uh, let's start with what's a flash loan. So a flash loan is just the ability to borrow a thousand, tens of thousands, potentially even hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in like a split second perform a bunch of transactions whereby you might buy like Kyber token, exchange it for an Aave A token, or exchange it for DAI or SAI or USDC, and then trade it back into the original cryptocurrency that you borrowed from Aave, and then make a profit. So if you, if you, if you borrow, let's say a million dollars, and you make a bunch of trades that actually produce 1.05 million dollars, you could actually keep the 50 grand. Uh, so that's kind of how it, w it works. Uh, you pay a small fee to Aave or whatever lending pool that you're leveraging. Uh, and if you actually don't make a profit and can't return the money, then the whole trade is washed and nothing happens except for the fact that you might lose a little bit of cryptocurrency, like a few cents or a few dollars just from, you know, the transaction fee that you pay to Ethereum miners. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to do that and what's underneath the hood of that process. I hope you find this video helpful. All right, so in this video, we're gonna perform a flash loan, just kind of like uh, what you see here in uh, this uh, transaction. Uh, what I've done in this uh, particular transaction is I've borrowed like a fraction of a penny from Aave. Uh, I've then repaid it uh, after having my smart contract perform some arbitrary uh, transactions or trades. So we're gonna talk about the process, what it looks like and uh, how it works. So. Um, Let's start uh, right here with, uh, you know, all of this is available, uh, like the documentation and whatnot on Aave.com. So if you go to docs.ave.com, you can see, you know, how to perform a flash loan and uh, they have pretty robust documentation. But if you're just looking for a simple kind of what does it look like over, you know, overall, that's what this video is for. So um, I'm going to start with the, uh, and I'll leave a link to this to this particular URL, uh, but I'm at etherscan.io slash address slash uh, the Aave uh, address, and, uh, Aave flash loan contract address that you'll be interfacing with. Um, you'll need to, so when you get here, you'll probably just be on this page, but uh, you'll just go over to uh, write as proxy, uh, and then you'll see this, uh, you'll see a bunch of functions that you can call. So these are all ways to interface with the Aave protocol. I mean, there's so many things you can do, deposit, to get interest, and all that stuff. You can borrow, you know, whatnot. We're, today we're talking about flash loans. So there's a function called flash loan. So there are a few parameters. So these are, you know, obviously things that um, you need to, information you need to provide to Aave, uh, smart, uh, their smart contract in order to issue the, the smart loan. So the first parameter that they want, uh, information they want to know is, what address are they giving money to? Now, this is important. So you're going to, and we'll, we'll do this in the video as well, you're going to produce a smart contract, and that smart contract is basically going to uh, take the borrowed money and perform a number of trades and then return the money to Aave. So uh, we need to specify what the smart contract address is. So this is my smart contract that's going to uh, currently that I have up. Um, there is a link to the smart contract code in the description. Uh, but basically you'll need that. You'll also need to specify the reserve. So this is just the token that you're borrowing. For me, this will be DAI. Uh, so this is just pegged to the US dollar. Uh, so I'm gonna borrow that and then I'm gonna repay that. And then I'm gonna put the amount. Um, so I use an internal tool. Uh, this is just something I personally have. Uh, it basically just shows me all of the ARB. So you know, three is Bancor, two is Kyber. Uh, one is Uniswap, so it's going to go Uniswap, Uniswap to Kyber, and it's going to go DAI, BNT, USDC, and it, there's a bit of uh, change. So this one would be uh, like a penny uh, that you'd make, uh, and then, you know, there's other ones, like I have these four-way ops, so if you go from, you know, USDC to KNC to link back to uh, USD, uh, USDC, uh, then, you know, what, what will... Um, what will happen it will be a bit of more of arm so it's just just these little you know and these these update and change all the time so you'll need to create like one of these simple tools if you need help with those obviously you can you know reach out to us and we provide a little bit of consultation if you're you're into that uh but basically you need to know where the arbitrage is 
and then perform the arbitrage. So uh, then you put the amount. So DAI is, has 18 decimals. So the way that you interact with this on either scan is, you know, I put 10,000. That comes out to 0 0.000001 DAI or something like that. You know, um, I could put more, uh, but we're just going to do this as an example. And then parameters, I'm going to leave that blank. So this is just extra information that you want to send to the smart contract. Um, that's a little more advanced. Uh, than this this particular video because and, and you probably will never need to to use that so we won't get too far into that but you'll specify those things like I said this is the most important one uh, your smart contract and what uh, currency that you're that you're that you're borrowing so your smart contract currency you're borrowing uh, and then you just click right and you know you'll you'll need to obviously be connected with MetaMask and that uh, this will pop up your on your screen now one thing you'll need to make sure that you do um, you might need to connect your uh, MetaMask wallet before you do that, so just check out for that. But uh, basically, you'll get the transaction, you click, uh, you'll have a transaction fee, and then you click confirm. And so what this will do is they will, you know, lend me DAI, and if I don't have enough money, then, uh, it, my, you know, my smart contract doesn't pay it back, then they're going to kill the transaction, right? So that's, it's pretty cool. Um, and you could have an you could have the, a Node.js application calling and doing this for you. So I'm just doing this as a uh, as an example to show exactly what's happening. So I'm going to call that, uh, and then you know this will take a little bit of time to to confirm. But my transaction is here. Uh, it's going to be in about five minutes. I'm just going to speed that up um, because um, you know it's quite some time. I'm gonna click fast save. Uh, so that that'll go through. And essentially what we'll get is this. Uh, we'll have borrowed some money. So now let's talk about our smart contract and, and what it needs to, to do. So I'm over here. Uh, I've pasted the smart contract in. I, I've put it up on the uh, OR feed. Uh, I've had a new folder called Tutorial Samples uh, in, the, in the Contracts folder. So you can go over there. Uh, what I have kind of set up here it, are all the libraries that you'll need. So the, this is Kyber. If you want to perform trades with Kyber, Uniswap library, um, and then a few other, you know, ERC20, you'll need that uh, interface to actually swap tokens and uh, the OR feed interface, you know, to get pricing data, etc., uh, as well as the Bancor li uh, library for essentially, you know, performing bank Bancor trades and whatnot. And then um, I have a contract called Flash It. You can name this anything you want, uh, but you have to have a function called Execute Operation. Now, what Execute Operation does is uh, when you create this transaction over here, um, it's actually going to go to your smart contract, this one, and it's going to call this function. So it's specifically looking for this function. And then after that, um, you need to transfer back. So I have the token. So this is uh, the reserve. They're going to send over the reserve to your smart contract. Uh, and then you need to transfer that over. So you'll, you need the uh, ERC20 interface, which I have up there uh, for you. But in between here, uh, this is where you, you do all your trades. This is this is where your trades go. So you do Kyber dot swap to this, do that, 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 and the other. You do all your trades in here, and then boom, you return the money back. So this is where you put the magic. Uh, like I said, this is stuff that you know you might detect from your own internal tool, where you're kind of just getting you know all of the different ARB opportunities, and then uh, you're executing on that. And I I personally uh, like the older. Uh, remix interface so I'm just going to I'm just going to use it uh, over here uh, on their their old version and uh, I'm going to use a uh, compiler 0.4.226 and I'm going to click run up here I'm going to select flash it that's what I'm going to uh, deploy and then I'm just going to click on deploy uh, I set my gas so um, you know they'll come up with a limit for you it should be about 200,000 uh, if you get a higher limit or something, then you messed up somewhere. Uh, but it should be about two hundred thousand uh, your limit. Uh, you set your gas to kind of you know whatever uh, you think will get confirmed. Uh, if you put you know one, it'll go through really slowly. And if you put you know ten or a hundred, it'll go through really fast. So they uh, suggest ten to work. I'll click confirm. I'll get this uh, screen up here, and then I'll click confirm. So now I will deploy this contract, and that is the contract uh, that you're actually going to have. Uh, to deploy and then you're going to put that over here over here uh, when it, where it says receiver so that's already been deployed uh, so you'll take that 
and this contract over here, where is it? This is my contract created. I created this contract. It's wonderful. And what you'll need to do, though, um, you know, obviously you'll have your all your smart contract logic. You'll definitely need to make sure that it has your reserves in it. So uh, I need to send over die to here. So yeah, so you'll just you, you'll you know buy some die. I'll just buy a little bit, like a dollar nine cents. So there it goes. I have one point nine die. Then you'll need to take that die, and you'll send it over to the contract that you create. I'll send over the transaction. This is really just to get you started to see, you know, that this is working. So I'll send in one die to that. I'll say I want it fast. And then, uh, yeah, I'll click next and confirm. So now my smart contract will actually have die. My smart contract would then do whatever trade and then it will return the money. So your smart contract needs die uh, so that it can uh, uh, pay you know pay pay the die back because this is a dummy contract that's not really actually performing the trades in the middle um, so maybe in the next video we'll actually have trades or an arbitrage uh, that we can perform and go from there so that's essentially uh, how to use flash loans so to review you're essentially going to deploy your flash loan contract with your logic or if you're just wanting to test and play with the waters and see how the loans work uh, you can just leave your trade blank and you're just returning the money that you're borrowing. Um, and what, what we're adding here is it's the amount plus the fee. So they send over the amount plus the fee. You, you add that up. You send that back over to them after you do whatever trade uh, you want to do. The money is then, the remaining money is actually then left in your smart contract. So you return the money and uh, now your smart contract has it. So you'll need also a withdraw function so that you can withdraw. Uh, so in the next video, we'll uh, talk about that, like how to create a withdraw uh, a f functionality. And that's pretty much it. You'll create that contract. You'll then mark that as the receiver uh, for the funds. Uh, you'll specify the reserve. You put the amount. You create, write the transaction, and boom, they send the money to your smart contract. You use that money to do whatever you like, and then you return the money. And that's how to borrow money uh, in a decentralized fashion on the Ethereum ecosystem. I hope this video was useful. Thank you.